Hey guys, what's up? Chris here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the common problem that we get while sending emails and pretty much all the other asynchronous activities when we're running a Python program. So normally, when we are setting a password here, you notice that when we supply an email, it quite takes some time for it to, to send back a response to the user. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to use Python multithreading capabilities to run the task to send an email on a, th on a thread that's not network bound which would help us keep our UI like very fast. You must have noticed how long it took to even submit, to even send this email. But now let's change that. So right here, if you go back to our program, I'm going to start by importing threading. So import threading. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna set up a class. So class is gonna be email thread. So gonna, this is going to inherit from threading to thread. So this is going to give us like all the handy GC methods to work with threads. So the first thing I'm going to do is define a constructor method. So a constructor method actually. Yeah. So bringing in it. So right here, we basically want to initialize this class with the data we are going to send in the like with the with the email information. So here, I'm going to to bring in, so let's look at our email, like the objects we use to send via email. Let's look at this. Okay, so you see, you see we do email.send, so this is the object. So I'm going to instantiate the class used with this, with this email, actually, this is an email tuple. So we're going to instantiate it with this email tuple. So coming back here, we're going to bring in this. So right down here, we want to set the email. So the email instance, we want to set it to the object that is passed in. So it's gonna be equal to email. Okay, so once we have that, then we need to return, we need to basically return the, the parent class constructor. So right here, we can do threading the thread, the thread error, a thread, then in it and pass itself. Okay, so once we have this, we need to define a run method. So this is where we put all our logic that we want to execute when an instance of this is created. We started since it's a thread, so I define run. So run will take itself. Basically, what we want is go ahead and send the email. So we can now do we can now do self dot email dot send. Actually, actually, if you look at how we are doing it down here, it should be email dot send. Then it should take in fail silent to fail silent just so we can get errors if there is one or if they are. So right here. So we can do self dot email dot send fail siren thing to false. And this is all we need to do. So now when we come back to our where we are sending an email, for example here on the registration. So right here, we want to be doing it here since it's going to go in the in the thread. So here we can instantiate our thread class so thread. Then we instantiate it with our email tuple, which we already have. Then we call start on it. Okay, so that will execute the run of, of the other parent. So we need to do the same thing for the email. So scrolling down, we need to do the same thing for the for the re, re, request password. So right here, I'm gonna do the same thing, and it should work similar. Okay, so right here, let me exit in here. Run the program again. Okay, let me check this one out. Okay, so our program is running. So if you come back to the site and go to reset, if I submit the same email and click submit, you can see that it's very fast. You can't even imagine. So the way it's working is, is Python spreads up another thread that doesn't run where like the main application is running. So that allows us to send an email in the background and also respond to the user like in real time, which is good which is amazing. So now to make sure that it's working, I'm going to check out my emails. 
So also, let me actually use sign up like with an, another user. So this will be test send. Uh, I hope they have an account. Gmail.com. Text send. Uh, okay, so this should be the email. Okay, so it's a variable. It's available. <laughs> so let me add a password. Submit. You saw how this was the success we created. It didn't even bother us about sending an email. It all happened like in an instance. So if we check, uh, let me put up my mail. So you can see that the email has come and it was like very fast, like very, very fast, which is awesome, which is amazing. Checking if we got the registration email, it's here also very fast. So this is gonna do it for the video. If this video helped you, like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.